So today we're going to be talking about the law of signs. Probably one of the more important things in trigonometry. So the law of signs works like this. So we have a right, a right angle triangle. No, oh, that's horrible. It just gives us the relationship between the angles, the sides, and the sines of angles. So we'll name this side angle A, angle B, angle C, and we'll go A, B, C. So the law of science tells us, well, I'll tell you the law of science first. The law of science is like this. Sine of angle A, so sine angle A, divided by B, C, this side, B, C, equals, so sine over A, sorry, right, sine over, sine of B over C and A, so C, A, and sine C, over sine uh, length AB. So that's all it is. So now, can we use this to do simple trigonometric problems? So I'll just write it up small over here. Come on, hurry up, blah, 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 blah. So yeah. So sine A equals BC over which equals to sine b over c a and then sine c equals to over b a over b so that's all it is now can we use the law of sines to do simple mathematic problems on this right angle triangle or any triangle can we use that yes we can so Let's get a triangle, any angle triangle. So we'll go what oh wow. Then we we'll go and then we'll just draw this angle. So let's get some lengths and some angles. So let's say this angle is 30 degrees. And this ang this side is 6. And this side is not not this side. Um and uh let's go this side is 12. So can we use this to figure out our angles? So yes, we can. So let's say this is angle A, angle B, angle C, and this is X. Can we deduce everything else about this triangle? We can. Because inside a triangle, all the angles have to add up to 180. And what happens when the angles add up to 180? Well. That's you have the interior of the triangle and you just need to do the outside. So let's do that. So let's get a different colour first. We'll go pink. So let's work it out. So according to here, sine of A or 30, sine 30 degrees over um what would this be? 12 equals sine b over 6 and that equals to sine c over x so we need to figure and fo just focus on this part of the problem first let's do that so, 
what is the sine of 30? We'll go calculator. Make sure I'm in degree mode. Yep. So we'll go sine 30, 0 0.5. So sine of 30 divided by 12 must equal this. So what is sine 30? So we'll go sine 30 equals 0.5 divided by 12 equals sine b over 6. Uh, no, hold on, um, we'll go to Google Chrome. Divided by... 12 equals 0. Point this big number. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go to the first three decimal places. We'll round it off. So it would be 0. 0.0147 equals sine of b over 6. So now how do we figure the rest out? Well, this is simple algebra. So we'll go 6 times 0 0.0147 and then we'll just work out the inverse sine. So let's do that. So uh, 6 times 0 0.14, nope. 0147 that equals 0 0.882 0 0.882 and now we just need to figure out the inverse sign so we sine negative 1 equals 882 so we'll go inverse sign or arc sign uh 0. Point, oh 0 0.82 sorry I missed that 0, 2, 0 0.0, 0 8, 8, 2, and then we'll go. That comes to this. Of course, my angles aren't completely right, but if we had these ratios, this angle over here, angle B, would have to be 5 degrees. 30 plus 5 is 35, so this angle must be monstrous. Of course, my ratios aren't correct, and don't judge me on the triangle. So this angle must be an obtuse angle. So an obtuse angle is bigger than 90, but smaller than 180. And to figure out angle C, we'll do 180 minus 35, which comes to 155 degrees.